Hey guys, okay, 4.5 properties of logs. So you're doing this on regular paper, um, and then we're gonna go into some more properties of logarithms. Okay, so the first one is the product property. So we call this expanding using the product property. So when we expand, if you have one log, you can actually, possibly, if the two things are getting multiplied together, um, you can break it up into two or more logs. So that's why it's called expanding. The one log turns into more logs. So when you're multiplying in one log, you can go ahead and say um, that you break it up into two logs with the same base, and then you're adding. So division works the same way. The quotient property is gonna be when you have a division. This is one log. You can expand it to become two logs, and you can try this out with any numbers, okay? So I'm not trying to trick you. So imagine this is log base two of eight over four. If this was log base two of eight over four, what's eight divided by four? It's uh, two. Log base two of two is one, right? So this would be one. Log base two of eight minus log base two of four. What's log base two of eight? It's three. What's log base two of four? It's two. Three minus uh, two is one. So it would be the same thing if I replace this with a two, this was an eight, and this with a four. Okay, you can always try this with real numbers, so we're not trying to trick you, okay? It should work normally too with numbers. All right, the other one we've already talked about, this is called the power property. So the K can move forward, it can also become that power. Be very, very careful. This is different than the quantity to the power of K. This is not a quantity to the power of K. This is just M to the power of K. So then the K can come forward, so be careful of that. The last one here, the change of base. So the change of base is saying if you have one log, maybe it's log base two of three, you can change it into log three over log two. So as long as it's the same base, notice this base is new, right? So I can do log with a common base of you know 10, or I can even do log base E of M over log base E of A. So I like to use this one because I am lazy and I like writing two letters instead of three letters or four. <laughs> I'm being honest. Um, and be very careful. Some people do from here will do this. So they'll try to expand it. But look, this is already two logs. You can't expand two logs into two other logs. You can expand one log into two logs. See how this is not the same as that, okay? So be careful, okay. So let's try one of them. So when I'm showing you these, you should really try them on your own because if you're gonna get tricked, get tricked on the notes and don't get tricked on you know the homework or the quizzes or the tests, right? So try these, like every time you see this, you should pause and just give it a try and you can always erase, you can always like, you know, cross it out and use a pen or whatever, okay? So when I see this, first and foremost, I see multiplication. So I'm gonna use this rule up here and then I get a plus and it becomes two logs and then right away I said this is a power of one third because it is, right? And then I'm gonna take that one third, I'm gonna pull it forward and then I'm done. There's nothing else to do. Do not expand this. This is not multiplication. This is addition, it just stays, okay? So in the end, you have no radicals, you have no powers because they're all getting brought forward um, using that power property, all right? Okay, try another one. So you should try it. Don't wait for me to try it. So you should try it. First and foremost, division. And then I go ahead and split it up into my division. This is not done. I want you to do this and check to see if you did it right because half of you won't because I, you know, it's tricky. So the two and the x squared are being multiplied. So that's a two plus that's the x squared, but the two came forward, the squared came forward, right? And then minus the three came forward and then we end. There's nothing else for us to do with that. You have to keep going when you have this. People wanna leave this. People also wanna take that two and bring it forward and leave it as two x. That's not true. The two is only the power of the x, not the two x. Okay, one more of those. Again, you should do this on your own. And then you see, hopefully, it's division first. So I'm gonna split it up into my division. Here's my power of one half, that's my radical. And then here's the denominator. And then I see right here, there is some 
there's a multiplication going on. So really this is minus a quantity and I expand this part. So when you minus a quantity, be careful. See that white out? I tricked myself. So be careful because it's minus a quantity that's being added so that minus distributes. So that one half came forward, the three came forward, the fourth power came forward, and that's a minus and that's a minus. So be very careful with that. Okay, let's try condensing. I think there's two condensing. So here's the first one. I love condensing. So condensing, I mean, I love asking you condensing questions, really, I'll be honest, um, because I like doing this to you. So notice that this one does not have a log with it, right? You have to make it into a log. And because these are natural logs, we have to make this into a natural log. Okay, so notice first that all of these, so these, are, these were expanded, right? So this is the final answer when you expand. If we go backwards, look at all of these. These all start with what? These all start with L. Literally, they start with the letter L. These are all a log. It's a log of a quantity, a log of a quantity, a log of a quantity. Your end result should be an LN of a quantity. That's when you know you're done. Okay, so the first thing I might do here is I might make that up to a power and then just kind of clean that up a little bit, three to the fourth power. Um, is, I don't know, 81, and then minus 7, or minus 8 is uh, 73, okay? Um, and then this, I like this so much. So isn't ln e 1? And then if you have 2 times ln e, that's just 2, and then the 2 can go up to a power, so this is ln e squared. Why do we want the 2 up in the power? Because we want all of these to start with an L, 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 so that we can condense them, okay? So next, I would just kind of clean this up right here, and then that's really um, a cube root of 8, which is 2 squared, which is 4, right? Okay, so I will tell you what I would do next in this step. I would change places for these, because I don't want to think that this and this go on the bottom, right? This isn't a negative quantity. It's not like there's parentheses around here. Really, it's this plus this minus this. So it's going to be 4 times e squared divided by 73. That's your final answer. Okay, so um, I think there's two more. So one more condensing. We're going to try it out. Boy, do I love these. Love, love, love. I know there's white out, but I still love it. <laughs> okay, so your first step is to make them all start with log, 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 log. So this one's easy, the two goes up. This one's easy, the, that becomes a root, right? This one's already in the right form. Minus, what is this gonna be? That's gonna be, come on, come on, come on, log base three of three. All right, now I have this plus this plus this minus this. All right, I think that's just a one-stepper, right? X squared times root X times this all over three. It starts with an L, it's a log of a quantity. We're done. Okay, simplify. What do you do first? Come on, honors pre-calc. <laughs> you do what's inside the parentheses first. What is that? Usually this is like extra, like whoever gets it, I'm like, oh, raise your hand, you get extra credit. <laughs> and then people get it first. All right, so do this for real. Don't just look at my answer. And then I guess I'll show you my steps. That's a three, that's a one, right? That is a zero. This is, ah, not possible. It's undefined, slash no solution. There you go. <laughs> All right, so there is properties of logs.